The International Olympic Committee eased its mask and social distance restrictions for Olympic medalists Sunday, announcing that athletes on the podium can briefly remove their masks to smile for the cameras and each other. It has been decided today to allow athletes to have a physically distanced image on the podium without their masks on for 30 seconds, and a group photo with masks on the gold medal step, the IOC said in a statement. The decision follows scientific advice, the statement said. The victory ceremony protocol has been adapted to allow athletes to have an image for the media that captures their faces and their emotions during a unique moment in their sporting career, as well as to celebrate the achievements of all the medalists together, the statement said. Health protocols agreed to ahead of the Tokyo Olympics to control COVID-19 infections had required all medalists to keep masks on for the whole ceremony. The new maskless moments require athletes to stay on their own podium steps. Masks must be back on for group photos on the top step. Phil Valentine, a conservative Tennessee-based radio host, has changed his mind about his previous vaccine-hesitant messaging after being hospitalized in critical care because of COVID-19, his family said. A Louisiana junior college is using federal COVID-19 relief money to eliminate student debt for anyone who has attended over the past year. Southern University at Shreveport is also offering $1,000 in financial aid to any students who enroll by August 6, a projection by a COVID-19 research consortium forecast that the current surge of cases could last through the fall and peak in mid-October, accelerated in part by the rapid spread of the Delta variant. Entourage star Kevin Connolly's newborn daughter was hospitalized with COVID-19, he revealed. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, babies under one year old and children with certain underlying conditions may be more likely to have severe illness from COVID-19. Vermont State Colleges are requiring students to be vaccinated against COVID-19 in order to return to on-campus life, the Executive Committee of the Vermont State College System Board of Trustees voted. Keep refreshing this page for the latest news. Want more? Sign up for USA Today's Coronavirus Watch newsletter to receive updates directly to your inbox and join our Facebook group. Several states, including Florida, Nebraska, Iowa and South Dakota, scaled back their reporting of COVID-19 statistics this month just as cases across the country started to skyrocket, depriving the public of real-time information on outbreaks, cases, hospitalizations and deaths in their communities. The trend of reducing data reporting has alarmed infectious disease specialists who believe that more information is better during a pandemic.